So, OpenAI's dominance in the AI space might be coming to an end. Google's latest release, Gemini 2.0, is a game changer. People are already calling it the biggest competitor to OpenAI's GPT-4 and even its rumored upcoming models. But before I dive into what makes Gemini 2.0 so revolutionary, here's a quick snippet from Gemini 2.0's launch video to set the stage. Gemini 2.0 enables new kinds of multimodal AI agents. Agents that can see and hear the world around you. Think, plan, remember, and take action. Gemini 2.0 is what enables Project Astra, our research prototype of a universal AI assistant. Using capabilities like multimodal memory and real-time information, it lets you understand your world, live. What can you tell me about this sculpture? The sculpture you're seeing is called My World and Your World by Eva Rothschild, located in Lewis Cubitt Park in London. What kind of themes does her work explore? She creates abstract sculptures that invite viewers to interact with and interpret their surroundings in new ways. Project Astra is multilingual, using native audio to seamlessly switch languages as you speak. Est-ce que tu peux me dire quelque chose d'intéressant pour prendre ces lanternes? Bien sûr, je peux vous parler des lanternes. Les lanternes que vous voyez font partie de la porte d'entrée de Chinatown à Londres. Je peux vous parler de la porte d'entrée de Chinatown à Londres. Je peux vous parler de la porte d'entrée de Chinatown à Londres. Je peux vous parler de la porte d'entrée de Chinatown à Londres. We're taking this to the next step with Project Mariner, with agents that can complete tasks on your behalf. You can ask it to do things like this that require multiple steps, doing research to look up the artist, then finding the painting, and then shopping for the right supplies. The agent uses the web to take action and find what you're looking for. It plans and reasons at each step, always staying in your control and completing your task. One of the most impressive advancements with Gemini 2.0 is its flash model, a lightweight multimodal AI system. It outperforms its predecessor, Gemini 1.5, in almost every benchmark. Not only is it faster, but it also excels in generating text, images, and speech while processing input across multiple modes, text, images, audio, and even real-time video. This directly challenges OpenAI's GPT-4, Turbo, and multimodal capabilities. But what sets Gemini 2.0 apart isn't just performance. It's Google's focus on agentic AI systems, AI that doesn't just answer questions, but takes meaningful actions. Sundar Pichai, Google's CEO, described it as a leap toward a more autonomous AI future, saying, we're building models that can understand the world around you, think multiple steps ahead, and even act on your behalf, with your supervision. This concept isn't just theoretical. Google has already showcased Gemini 2.0's power in real-world applications. Let's start with this demo. Where do you recommend I attack from on this base? Given the base layout, I recommend attacking from the bottom or south side. This direction allows you to target the town hall directly with your giants, while the wizards can handle the surrounding defenses. Here, Gemini 2.0's AI assistant analyzes a live video feed of a mobile game and provides strategic suggestions, all without any specialized training for the game. This is pure agentic AI at work, processing real-time video and audio to assist the player. Google has also unveiled Project Astra, a research prototype that integrates Gemini 2.0 into the Google ecosystem. Astra combines tools like Google Search, Maps, and Lens into a single universal assistant capable of real-time conversations. I've got this email with apartment info. Can you tell me the door code and remember it? I'll remember the door code for you. It is 1170. To unlock it, enter the code and then press the unlock button. Based on these symbols, how should I wash this? The tag shows to machine wash at 30 degrees Celsius, avoid bleach and tumble drying, iron on low, and dry cleanable. Then what setting should I use on this machine? Based on the laundry instructions of 30 degrees Celsius, select the 30 setting under Easy Care on the dial. I've got this list of recommendations. Can you tell me a bit about some of them? I can search for these places for you. Cold Drops Yard is a shopping destination with unique industrial design, 
Luminary Bakery is a social enterprise bakery, and Tate Modern is a modern and contemporary art museum. And then there's Project Mariner, a browser-based prototype that explores human-agent interaction. Unlike ChatGPT, which is limited to text-based instructions, Mariner interacts directly with websites and automate online tasks, all while keeping the user in control. So I'll ask the agent to take this list of companies, then find their websites and look up a contact email I can use to reach them. This is a simplified example of a tedious multi-step task that someone could encounter at work. Now, the agent has read the Google Sheet and knows the company names. It then starts by searching Google for benchmark climbing. And now it's going to click into the website. You can see how this research prototype only works in your active tab. It doesn't work in the background. Once it finds the email address, it remembers it and moves on to the next company. At any point in this process, you can stop the agent or hit pause. What's cool is that you can actually see the agent's reasoning in the user interface so that you can better understand what it is doing. And it will do the same thing for the next two companies navigating your browser, clicking links, scrolling, and recording information as it goes. You're seeing it Gemini 2.0's innovations pose a serious challenge to OpenAI's dominance. The first reason why is its multimodal superiority. While OpenAI's GPT-4 introduced multimodal features, Gemini 2.0 takes it further by seamlessly integrating text, images, voice, and video processing into practical workflows where real-time interaction is crucial. Another major reason is its cost and accessibility. Google's pricing strategy for Gemini 2.0 models is competitive, especially given its expanded capabilities. Coupled with Google's vast ecosystem, Android, Workspace, and Pixel devices, Gemini becomes far more accessible to both developers and enterprises compared to OpenAI, which operates within a more closed system. Projects like Astra and Mariner highlight Google's emphasis on agentic AI task automation and productivity, addressing practical daily needs. This directly competes with OpenAI's tools, which focus more on reasoning and content creation. Gemini's agentic systems represent a paradigm shift toward proactive AI, potentially giving it a long-term advantage. The simultaneous launches of Gemini 2.0, OpenAI's rumored Orion model, and tools like Sora signal a rapidly evolving and competitive AI landscape. OpenAI, Google, and others are pushing innovation to new heights, but this also means that OpenAI's previous dominance is no longer guaranteed. As we move forward, the competition will likely drive more specialized tools and advancements in both consumer and enterprise AI. For users, this is great news. It means more options, more capabilities, and likely more affordability as companies fight for dominance in this space. Is Gemini 2.0 the beginning of the end for OpenAI's monopoly, or will OpenAI bounce back stronger? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on the AI revolution.